Hey guys, it's John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we're going to talk about Mega360 and which Y cable you're going to need for your installation. All right, so first off, we're gonna start with the Helix unit. Uh, we've got the 720107-1, if you guys are part number geeks like me. And this is gonna be your Helix Y cable. This is going to have the nine pin connection that will plug directly into the sonar port in the back of your Helix unit. This is not always gonna be the Y cable that you use because you have a Helix, but if you are running an external transducer, you will use this Y cable. So on the other end, you've got where your like down imaging transducer would go. And then this end says Mega360 here, and this is where your Mega360 would plug in. So the single end goes into the transducer port in the back of the unit. And then like on my boat, I've got the MDI transducer rigged up on the bottom of the trolling motor with the H-style trolling motor mount, shout out to RMP. And uh, this side is where your Mega360 is gonna tie into. Now, if you do have the internal transducer, if you buy the Ultrex with the built-in Mega Down imaging, you're gonna need this other Y cable, which guys are typically referring to as the Solix Y cable. Um, it's the uh, 720108-1 part number. So you will use that one with the Helix if you have a built-in transducer in your trolling motor. And one thing that you will use from your Mega360 kit, when you get the 360, it's gonna have this adapter cable in it. And you will need it in order to make the connection between your Y cable and your, your Helix unit because it's got this big 14 pin plug and that's not gonna plug into your Helix unit. So you've got this adapter, you make that connection, and now your single end can plug right into the back of a uh, Helix, rather. And then you've got these two 14 pin connections here. One of them is labeled Mega360. Make sure you guys plug these in right. I've seen that done before. Uh, make sure you plug the 360 end to the 360 end and the internal transducer end to the correct end and then you will have no problems there. But if you try to use this one with the internal uh, built-in transducer, then it's, it's not going to work. You definitely need this one and this is one that you're going to use also if you have a Solix unit. But when you get this adapter with your 360, you're not going to use it with the Solix. So we're gonna set it off to the side. You're gonna have your 14 pin connection here and we're gonna plug it in to the back of the unit. And how we had two different Y cables for the Helix unit, whether you had internal or external transducer, we don't have that with the Solix. There's only one Y cable for the Solix. So for you Solix guys, it's a little bit easier. If you have a Solix unit, you need this Y cable. So you've got the 360 end, you plug that in, and you've got the transducer end, whether you're running an external transducer or whether you're running an internal transducer that's already comes built in. Uh, whether that's down imaging or side imaging, it doesn't matter. If you're running Solix, you're using the 720-108-1, and if you're running Helix, you may use either one. So hopefully for those of you guys that are rigging your boats, trying to figure out what cables you're gonna need for the install, hopefully this will help you out. If you do have any further questions, make sure to shoot us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com or call us at 316-313-4113.